Hey everyone. Uh, so today we are looking at this Legion 5 laptop. I picked this one up at Costco. I think it was slightly under a thousand dollars at the time. Uh, it has an i7 10th generation chip. It has a GeForce card. I believe it's a 1660 Ti. And uh, the model of this Legion 5, is, the type that it is, is the 81Y6. Uh, it also has a number of uh, Legion 5 uh, 15 im h 5 h And what we're going to do is we're basically going to open it up and see how it can be modified, upgraded if we wanted to. Now this one does come with, uh, like I said, an i7. It has 16 gigs of RAM, it has a 512 SSD, and then it has a one terabyte additional spinning hard drive. All right, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. So first of all, let's uh, shut it down. So we're gonna shut down the computer. And so it's doing that right now. And once it shuts down, and here's a few tools that I have. So I have a bunch of different screwdrivers and we'll see which ones we need to use. So this is what it looks like. It's been a great little laptop. Well, it's pretty big actually, it's 15.6. Uh, but it's been great to be able to like create videos off of this thing instead of using a desktop. Uh, it is a big laptop, so it's kind of heavy. But let's look and see now uh, what kind of screwdrivers we need to be able to remove all these guys. So I think this one might work. Yeah. So it seems like it has a lot of screws here. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I think you remove these. So I'll probably speed this up in the video. So I'll stop talking. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we're just gonna put the strap on a little bit tighter. Not necessarily needed for this because I'm not touching the chip or anything, um, but we'll try to tighten this up a little bit here and put this on. That way metal contact is touching this and then we clip on the other side to some form of metal. So I'll just do a little bit tighter. All right, and there we go. So it seems like it's tight there, let's put it on. So basically this metal here has to touch your skin and then it touches some something that's metal in the area. All right, so we took all the screws out. So now hopefully this just pops out. Let's look, actually let's turn it around and see if it loosens. And if all the screws come out. So we have one, two, it seems like these are smaller ones in the front. So three small ones, one, two, three, three larger ones there. And then we have one, two, three. So it looks like we got nine out of it. And I think I counted 11. So I think I just felt one come out there. Let's see, oh yeah, one's here. And let's see, and there was four on this side. So it's probably this one here. That goes there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's see what we're missing there. Trusty, look, that one's gone, that one's gone, gone. Oh, this one's still there. So let's do that. All right, so those are four there for one, two, three, four. One, two, three are these, and one, two, three, four. So I think we got them all. So four, seven, 11, four, Seven, eleven. Okay, let's see if this pops up or not. Okay, so I think I need a few additional tools here to be able to snap it off because it's not snapping off easily. So one tool that's pretty common is something like this that lets me get on the edge and snap it off. Let's try that. So let's start here, see if we can get in there. All right, so that seems like it's loosening it there. Oh, there we go. So I'm just turning it. And uh, this is plastic, which is nice because it doesn't damage it. And, uh, or not badly, I guess. It might leave a little mark, but there you go. So by doing that, let's do it over here on this side. 
and let's see if we need to do it on this side. We'll do it over here. There we go. Okay, so then I was able to pull. All right, and there it came off. So not too, too hard if you have the right tool to do it. So this is what the bottom of the case looks like. So you can see uh, there's like a little bit of foam here, some metal um, or copper there. So let's put this over here. All right, so let's look and see. So we have a, it's a dual fan. Now this one is running um, an NVIDIA card. So yeah, it needs probably quite a bit of uh, cooling. We see that there's fan one fan here. There's one on this side. Here's all the elements to distribute the heat. It looks like this is probably the CPU right over here. And uh, then let's see, where do we have? Okay, so here's the spinning hard drive. So this is a Seagate one terabyte Barracuda. Uh, it's gonna be like a 2.5 inch spinning drive. So this is clearly something you could upgrade if you wanted to. You could buy an SSD instead and put that in here. That way you don't have a spinning item here. Uh, it might also help you with the battery because I'm assuming this is going to use up a bit more uh, of the battery when it's running um, if it's not plugged in versus like an SSD. Okay, so that's what we see here. And let's see, we have the battery right over here, which these things don't last too, too long. And you know, this battery does not look gr really, really big in comparison to how big this device is. And um, here it looks like this is going to be the other the main ssd drive looks like it might be down here and i'm trying to see where the memory is and maybe the memory is in here but i'm not positive let's see if we can remove this one here this looks like it's only being held by two screws so let's see what this looks like so here's one screw and here's the other screw All right, so two screws are out. Let's see if this comes off. There we go. Oh, there's a third screw right here. Okay, so third screw is out. Uh, let's see what's in here. Okay, so it looks like here is the SS, uh, not SS, well, it's an SSD, but it's a NVMe. So this is the 512. So if you want to upgrade the 512, uh, this has a system, uh, this is the system drive, so it's booting off of this. So if you want to update this to upgrade it to like a one gig or, a, sorry, a one terabyte or a two terabyte, this is what you would want to change here. You would remove this screw here once you remove it, this whole piece would just pop out and then you buy the new one and then you slide the new one in and then push it down and then you would screw this back in. So it's fairly simple. This right here looks to be the um, the uh, the Wi-Fi card. So this is how the Wi-Fi card is connected and it goes to here. And let's see, the memory maybe is down in here. Because it says here that this is a dim, shielded, um, so possibly it's right there. I did figure out that this can be opened pretty easily. So I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver here, and I'm going to try to pop it off. So I'm going to just try to see if I can slide it in here. And there, I'm just turning this. It seems like this just snaps into place. And now I'm able to pull. And it looks like it is coming off. Oops, right here. All right, so there's the RAM. So here's the memory and it does come, it does come with 16. There is a possibility you can upgrade this to two chips that are both 16 gigs. I did read online that that is possible. So even though it comes with 16, you can upgrade it to 32. So, and these are also very simple. Like I think I've shown you guys this before, but if you were replacing these, let's say your model only came with eight gigs and you want to add another one. Well, essentially these two connectors here, you pull out and it snaps this out, right? So I can take this off. So that's what one memory chip would look like. And then we can slide it back in here like this. And then 
once it's all the way in, it's slanted, but you can push down and it'll click into place. All right, so that's the way you can pop these off, change them if your model doesn't have two chips on there. And then once you're done with that, this can go back in here. And you can hear it snap in. All right, so let's put it back together now and see how that goes. So we had this right here, right? Here's the main drive and the wireless. No need to upgrade that for this point. Let's close this up. So where did I put those screws? Those screws are right here. So let's put these back in. One, here's the next one, and one more. I did also hear that there is, this model comes with the, let's see, it's almost a 60 watt hour battery. I believe there's another model that comes with an 80. I'm assuming that would be too big, but maybe that's why there's some space here. I don't know. I don't think so. I, don't, I think there's not enough room for a bigger one, but I know some models come with a bigger battery than this. All right, so that's in there. So we didn't really take anything else out here. Uh, if you did want to take this out, the screws are here, 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 and then this should pop out. It'd probably pop up and then out, and then you can replace it. So that's fairly simple. All right, let's put it back together. Here. Push down, seems like it snaps in. All right. Put the screws back in. Okay, so there we're done putting all the screws back together. Let's make sure this works now. Open it up, press the power button, still turns on, and looks like the screen is going on. So yeah, I think we're good. So definitely like and subscribe if you like this content. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at 965 right now. Uh, but yeah, I would really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.